Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and today I'm going to show you how you can make stones, rocks and building blocks. Do check out in the links below, there's playlists and my website for more information about how you can paint game assets. So you can see what I've been working on here. I'm working on what's called the training ground and you can see the sort of way it's looking at the moment and you can see that I've already done some blocks if I zoom in on this one here around this area here and I've still got to do this one just here. So I'm going to isolate that with forward slash on my numpad. I've also unwrapped and all these textures are going on a 512 by 512 texture map. So you can see them all here. And this tutorial is purely about painting rather than this setup. I'll put some links in the description if you need to know more about that. And do check out the other things in the painting playlist. So I'll make sure I'm in texture paint mode with this object. I've got my fill brush selected at the moment and I've filled it in with a sort of base gray like this. I tend to go slightly off white, so it depends whether you want sort of bluey or browny rocks. I've gone really slightly browny, as you can see there. Let's go back now to my draw brush, make your brush nice and big to start off with, and I'm going to set this to mix, and use some of these different colors across here, and even some of these as well, I'll show you what I mean. So just dab in, some of these colors you can see there the difference it's making maybe a tiny bit of brown you can come right out from your stone and then paint these in so a few different colors just to add a bit of variation to your rock try not to shift too far from the colors I've got a strength of 0.1 so that's quite a low strength and do make sure you cover your whole block don't just work on one side and forget the other change and vary the color quite a lot you can see here it's sort of dense and undulations in the texture and so forth. Now watch out for this. Can you see there's a sharp line there? It's because I painted about here. If I paint there hard, you can see it creates a line because it can't go around the corner. A bit of a limitation to the blender painting really. I'm gonna undo that stroke and use the smudge brush if you ever get that. We don't want to see these hard edges. We can draw those in later. Whenever I'm using the paint, I always use soft shading so we can't see the edges. The only time I go to the hard shading is when I need to see those edges to draw my lines, but generally it's soft shading and you draw the edges in with your pen. So let's go back to the mixed brush again. I think that's enough variation, it looks quite nice. Also I'm checking across here to see whether my texture here is matching the other stone textures, so watch out for that, make sure they're all matching up, and that looks fine. So the next bit is to draw the outline. Now to start with just go for a lighter brush somewhere around there, fairly low strength, and just draw in the edges. Now there's different styles you can go for, and that will depend on how big you want to go with your brush. So here I'm going quite big. So this is the light catching the edges. And I'm keeping it very simple, as you can see. Just quickly drawing across, just to get in those edges. Okay, now bring your brush size down and let's change it to screen mode. Screen will lighten any colors you've got as long as you've got a light color in the first place. If I change this to black now and draw, nothing will happen. But with white, it lightens the colors. So let's bring the brush in a little bit and paint a bit of variation across the top here. You can see my pixels now and that's how low the resolution is for my texture. So this can't be a particularly detailed texture but it's surprising how low you can actually go with your pixel density. So I'm making them quite wavy, as you can see there. Make sure you use the whole of the block. The bottom as well. That's with the modular design that we're using for Atlas Empires. I'm going to make this one and give it sort of two highlights as if there's a dent in there. And already you can sort of see the block shape and that's quite a simple way of doing a block. You just highlight the outlines like this and color it in. Now to add a bit of detail, you might want to use the multiply brush. Let's go into this dent here, for example. So we need to, obviously with the multiply brush, if I paint now, nothing's happening because it's on white. It needs to be darker, somewhere around here, and then we can paint in the multiply there. I'll make my brush just a touch bigger. So it looks like there's a dent in there now. I can also go to some other areas, maybe somewhere around here, and just paint in a bit of a dent. And then back to the screen brush, and then as if the light is coming from the top, always think that the light's coming from the top, bring your brush lightness up a bit, and then it catches the bottom 
of this dent here. It might catch the top really slightly as well. And can you see you've got a dent there? So we've got a sort of interesting shaped dent there and another one just there. Now you might also want a bit of variation in your rock. So let's go back to the multiply and just dab in a bit of texture. So there's a sort of swirl going on there with the multiply brush. I'm a bit too bright, so I'll darken that just a touch. Can you see how it's sort of bringing out the, a bit of variation in the shape? Remember the bottom as well. So there's a bit more color to it now. The multiply brush does help with the sort of saturation as well slightly. I might change the color to a sort of more bluey and give it a bit more color variation. So there's a bit of dents and swirls in there. Now we can go to the screen brush and just add a sort of flakiness to it. What I mean is, you'll see what I mean in a second, if I just go across the top here, can you see it's got that sort of edge that where again the light's catching it and then it sort of looks slightly rocky like this bit is sort of flaking a bit behind this bit. Hopefully that makes sense. There's sort of flakiness to, to rocks and they swirl across the rock faces like so. So just very delicately go across like so. Remember the bottom? Don't forget the bottom. Okay, so you can sort of see the idea of the rock there. Might be a bit too far with this bit here, so I'm gonna bring down my multiply brush slightly. Sorry, my screen brush. Change the size of my brush and just lighten it very slightly there. I'll undo that again and just really lightly go across. That's a bit better. Not too much of a difference then. Now let's just have a quick look at my scene. The way I'm building these is, like I say, a modular approach. And you can see I've got these two rocks here. There's only two of these in the scene. And to take this further, generally speaking, the lighter parts are at the top because the sun's at the top and darker parts at the bottom. Now I'm just going to show you how you can kind of improve this texture. I'm going to save my texture at the moment, so save. And I'm going to go to the multiply brush and just bring up it down a touch, bring up from the bottom here, so from the base, and that should give it a bit of shading and attach it to the ground basically. However, you can't take this approach if you're planning to use several of these blocks and sort of rotate them and move them around and turn them upside down and so forth, because suddenly the shading won't work anymore if you do that. So I'm just painting from the ground up and you can see it sort of attaches it to the ground and then to the screen brush light of course and just paint across the top there and you can see that sort of catching the light there and the bottom is occluding the light and so you can see how you can do basic rocks in that way so a nice quick one today I hope you're enjoying the series let me know in the comments below whether this is what you want or if there's anything else that you'd like to see and I'll do my best to add it in thanks for watching and I'll see you next time